It's April 23rd, 2022, and Truett Sunderland scored the game winner in a massive MIAA matchup to leap Calvert Hall past arch rival McDonough by a score of 10 to 9. But before we go any further, let's rewind. It's July 21st, 2017, and a YouTube channel drops 13 year old Truett Sunderland's lacrosse highlights. At this point, he's well known after crushing it for Cooper's lacrosse club. Inside Lacrosse has already written up about him and says that he's the ultimate quarterback. And other lacrosse analysts around the nation recognize how how special he is. For Truett, lacrosse is in his blood. He's grown up in Baltimore, Maryland, the mecca of lacrosse, and there's no city that lives and breathes the sport quite like this. Ever since he could remember, he just picked up the stick and dominated against the absolute best of the best that the game had to offer. His father was a college lacrosse player, and Truett followed in his footsteps and became even better. Who do you like on the offensive end for the Cardinals? Well, the typicals are always going to be there, but number three is just a freshman, Truett Sunderland, starting on attack. Fast forward to spring 20. Sunderland has earned himself a starting spot on the Calvary Hall varsity lacrosse team, one of the best high school lacrosse teams in the entire nation. And Truett doesn't just fill the role at starting attack, he thrives in it, and finished the season with 57 points on 35 goals and 22 assists. He helps Calvary Hall win its third straight MIAA championship, and he's one of the best players on the entire team. To just get playing time on an MIAA team is an accomplishment. To start on attack for the best team in the conference and score at will is pretty much unheard of. After 2019, everyone in the lacrosse world knows this guy is special. Fast forward to spring 2020 when COVID hits. The lacrosse season is canceled, but Calvary Hall still plays in the summer. While everyone's in lockdown and glued to their TV, Truett gets to play on ESPN in the Geico Lacrosse Nationals for Calvert Hall, and he puts on a show, dominating Deerfield, the elite boarding school in Massachusetts. On hot summer nights, Truett Sunderland is absolutely bowling out on national TV, and the world continues to take notice of him. But it's not just on TV that Truett thrives. He plays several other tournaments this summer, and he has one of the best shows in his entire class. Fast forward to August 31st, when the class of 2022 rankings dropped. Truett is ranked the number four player in the class by high school lacrosse expert Ty Zanders, just behind other stars like Joey Spolina, Dom Petromala, and Joey Terenzi. At this point, Truett has pretty much every college lacrosse coach in the country interested, and the future is in his hands. Also, if you're a lacrosse fan like me, you know the sport doesn't get the media coverage it deserves. So if you like what I'm doing, please take the time to subscribe and share this video with one friend. And together, we we can put lacrosse on the map. It's still COVID, so no players can go on official visits to schools. But Truett uses his Baltimore connections to get tours from current college players. Some lacrosse analysts thought Truett would stay home and go somewhere like Johns Hopkins or Loyola just right up the street. Or others thought he might pick a powerhouse like Maryland just a few hours away. But then a head coach named Lars Tiffany gave Truett a call. Lars was just coming off a national championship for the University of Virginia. And with top recruits like Connor Schellenberger and Matt Moore on the team, Virginia was the hottest team in college lacrosse. When Lars Lars talked, Truett listened. And quickly on September 13th, 2020, Truett made his verbal commitment to play for the Cavaliers. Fast forward to spring 2021, and after a long year of no lacrosse, Truett was back on the field. In the middle of the season while playing a conference rival Gilman, Truett broke his foot in a season-ending injury in the final two minutes of the game. It was a devastating injury to have after waiting a year to play lacrosse. But Truett didn't let the setback get to him. Instead, he channeled his setbacks into making him even more grateful to play lacrosse. So when he eventually got back for his senior year, while other guys were treating practice like just another day, Truett was literally cherishing every opportunity, and he used this as a competitive advantage. Fast forward to spring 2022, and the Truett Sunderland we saw his freshman year was not only back, he was even better. Truett dominated for Calvert Hall, putting up a jaw-dropping 47 goals and 45 assists for 92 points against elite competition. For his efforts, Truett earned first-team MIAA and first-team All-Metro honors, and he was named a senior All-American. And now fast forward to the present. Truett Sunderland has completed his first fall ball as a player for the Virginia men's lacrosse team, and he's next in line to be a Cavalier great. Truett has done it all, from growing up in a hotbed of lacrosse, dominating as a middle schooler, starting as a freshman for one of the best high school teams, not getting to play for his sophomore and junior seasons, and finishing out his senior year still as one of the best lacrosse players in the nation. Today, I want to explore the truth behind Truett Sunderland. What makes him such a special lacrosse player, and what's next for him as a college and potentially pro lacrosse player? I'm Jake with Lax Weekly. Let me know what you think, and let's get into it.
into the video. So to understand why Trude is such a special lacrosse player, let's break his game down. The first part that stands out more than anything is his vision. Sunderland is the ultimate quarterback. His head is always up looking for teammates. In both of his high school seasons, he had almost as many assists as goals, which shows passing is not only something he likes, but it's a priority for him. To me, I think that comes from growing up in a hotbed like Baltimore. While you see most non-college players dodge with their head down, Trude just looks comfortable with the ball in his stick. But this leads me to my next point. If you play him too much as a passer and try to get on his hands, he'll cash in, turn the corner from X, and score at will. Trude is a scorer at heart and uses a ton of different moves in his arsenal. He said his favorite player to watch growing up was Jordan Wolf, and you can definitely see that in the way he plays. What I love about Trude is that he'll burn you from X, but also absolutely uncork an outside shot. So if you press him out too much, he'll just score on you underneath. But if you don't play out on him, he'll just make you pay and rip it right past the goalie. Let's just say I'm glad I'm not a defender in lacrosse right now. And by the way, you can join 3,000 other lacrosse players and join the LAX weekly email newsletter packed with tangible tips on how to become a better lacrosse player. I'll leave a link in the description where you can go subscribe now. The next part I love about Truett's game is his change of direction, using quick split, roll, and face dodges like Michael Sowers to get his hands free and open for a shot. Quickness and change of direction isn't really something you can teach. You either have it or you don't. And I'm sure UVA coach Lars Tiffany was thinking about this when recruiting Truett. I also love his toughness and riding ability. Lacrosse is getting so high level right now that if you're not playing at a million miles an hour, you will not step onto the field. And Truett looks like he's always going. This fits perfectly into the high-powered, run-and-gun style offense of UVA, where players take plenty of shots, but also ride their tail off to get the ball back when they need to. This grit and hustle is another quality you can't really teach, but Truett has it in spades. The last and probably most underrated part about Truett's game is his off-ball ability. He's definitely a high-volume player. He likes the ball on his stick, but he's also just as comfortable without the ball, too. He uses his high lacrosse IQ to make quick cuts around defenders and finishes the ball with ease. I think this skill will ultimately carry him at UVA. Virginia is already so loaded with players who can dodge, and someone who can play without the ball is going to be extremely valuable. To me, Truett fits this bill perfectly, and I could definitely see him on a man-up or off-ball situation this year. Now, let's address the only knock on his game that some analysts talk about, which is his size. At 5'11", 160 pounds, Truett certainly isn't the smallest, but he isn't the biggest either. I think a college lacrosse strength and conditioning plan will certainly help his game, and UVA is known for taking players and turning them into absolute specimens. I think if Truett can live in the weight room and put on a little bit more strength, he'll be able to do just fine against any college lacrosse defender. Now, Truett has a chance to break into the starting lineup at Virginia Lacrosse, and what a time to be at Virginia. They have arguably the best player in college lacrosse, Connor Schellenberger, and also returned the number one 2021 recruit, Griffin Schutz. UVA also brings along top five recruit, Joey Terenzi, and now the number one 2023 recruit, McKay Millen, and now the number one 2024 recruit, Ryan Dunkel. So it's very realistic to think that Griffin Schutz, Joey Terenzi, Truett Sunderland, McCabe Millen, and Ryan Dunkel could all play lacrosse on the same field. That is absolutely absurd that this much talent could be put on a lacrosse field at once, and I'm really not sure we've ever seen a college lacrosse team put this much talent together before. But the road won't be easy for Truett. UVA has a team full of experienced players, and new top recruits are coming in every single year. But I think if he puts in the work on the field and in the weight room, he could be a mainstay of the Cavalier offense for years to come. There are so many parts of his game to love, and I think his versatility and confidence are what separate him from the rest of the pack. This video was so much fun to make. What do you think of Truett Sunderland, and what video should I make next? Oh my gosh, I am so excited for the college lacrosse season. I want to hear your takes. I want to see who you think is going to win next year. I'm Jake with Last Weekly. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. I'll catch you next time.